Boy, got everything you need? Yeah, I think so. Thank you. All right, well, you let me know. Sure. There she is. Good morning. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. I know things have been hard. Yes. See you later. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. This. This is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. <laughs> Remember that. John. Morning, Arthur. There he is. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Fire's good and hot, Morning, Mr. Morgan. Good to take the weight off, eh? Hi, right, fellas. For sure. Don't you ever get fed up with all this? Sometimes, I suppose. Well, know you're appreciated around here. Sure, Arthur. You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Morning, Arthur. My lady. Send someone with a ransom note yet? Ransom note? Yeah. We'd be lucky to get two cents for you. Hey, I'm a valuable asset, mister. <laughs> <laughs> they was right. You have turned delirious. Good morning. Mr. Strauss. You ever miss Austria? Sometimes, I suppose. Guess loans are where the heart is. Take care, Arthur. To carve a country for man's desire and not some old world juju. Wasn't that a beautiful fantasia, Arthur? If you say so, Dutch. Good morning, Arthur. Such a beautiful look like home. It's taken shape. Good work, so Miss Grimshaw. Rendered. Huh. Mr. Morgan. 
Can I ask you a favor? If, if it's convenient, I mean. Sure. If you're out on your adventures and you see any herbs for seasoning, would you mind grabbing them for me? Seasoning? Yes. Don't tell Mr. Pearson. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll see what I can do. Arthur. You okay, Arthur? I guess. He seemed kind of worried. Of course I'm worried. What about? <sighs> Our world's changing. Even I see that now. What do you mean? Our time... ...is pretty much past. Sure I do. They don't want folk like us no more. <laughs> this their rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just... realistic about what's coming. Keep thinking I should help folk, but... Ah... Uh... I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. You're the only one of these fools knows just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? <sighs> Ain't that the truth? So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. Hello. Hey there. Is the boy behaving himself? For the most Lots part. Lots of room to play in. Okay, I'll leave you two to it then. Take care, Arthur. Wait.
Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Morning, Arthur. Working hard there? I guess. Well, it won't disturb you. All right, then. Yep, yep. Let's get. Easy, easy. Easy, whoa. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it! What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me, because unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you! Nincompoop, and everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. 
Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir. Good luck. I'll keep my eye out for you. Yeah. Hey, mister. Damn it. Mister, move along. I oh, know, boy. Nearly done. Come on.
Okay, then. It's all right, boy. Hello, Tilly. That ought to feed us for a spell. <sighs> I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Supplies? Always. You can never have too much. All right. Let's see what I can do. I should do some work. Okay, let's take a look. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Oh, Mr. Morgan. I've jotted down a few things that I think could be uh, nice additions around here. The Boy Scouts will be very pleased. A few changes never hurt. Arthur. Hey, Strauss. Putting the world to rights there? Trying to, Mr. Morgan. Well, don't let me disturb you. Okay, Mr. Morgan. Well, at least we ain't freezing. Not yet. But we're a long way from anywhere we could call home. This is home. We're east of the Grizzlies. I know. A great American Western adventure. That was your pitch. I know. But we ain't dead yet. <coughs> Not quite. Home is where we are. Always has been. Exactly we just can't are. seem to get west, can we? No, at this rate, we'll be in New York by Christmas. Oh, I couldn't think of anything worse. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Always good to see you. Hi. Don't know what we're gonna do with you. Why don't either? 
Buck up. It's gonna be all right. All right then, Arthur. Cruel bastards, tying me up right by the food. Please don't hurt me. How are you, Jack? Hear you was sick? Hiya. Oh, Driscoll boy. Oh, great. Need anything? A sip of water, please. I'm begging you. Nah, I don't think so, pal. doing the washing, that's for sure. Now help me or clear out. Oh. Oh. Tilly. Hi. Doing a good job there. Thank you, Arthur. So don't let me disturb you. All right, Arthur. Dutch, you always do. Hello? Anything I need to worry about? Not right this minute. Okay, good. All right, Arthur. 